Uh, now I'd like to present uh, Joao Leite, CEO of uh, Advance. Joao, are you there? I'm here. Thank you so much for inviting. You have the floor. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, thanks a lot for um, you know, for Born, Born to Global uh, and for the all, all the entities involved to invite us to, to come here and to share with you uh, the work we've been doing together with Shopple. Um, first of all, good morning for everyone. Uh, it's it's Sunday evening here in Colombia. It's 7 p.m. for our you know, obvious, obvious uh, time time difference. And um, what I want to do, you know, um, similar to what uh, our colleagues from uh, Avancargo did, is explain a bit what both partners do and a bit what's the logic for our partnership. I think because I think it's probably going to be very uh, um, very interesting to explore you know, in other sectors, in other companies that are doing uh, um, work uh, that can be, uh, that can leverage partnerships between uh, different companies. I'm going to share um, a short presentation. I'm not going to, uh, not going to bother everyone with, with long slides, but I think it's, it's important as we think about the logic of our partnership uh, between Advance and Shopple. Uh, it's important to first go over and explain what both companies do and then go over um, around the logic of the partnership. Right? I will start with Advance, right? Um, Advance, we are um, employee benefits uh, you know, focused on low-income workers. Uh, our main uh, product you know, is a seller advance product, so basically a wage streaming uh, um, a product that allows low-income workers, you know, people like Andrea, the, the lady that you see on the picture, uh, to access their earned age along the, along the month. And basically, don't, they don't have to, to wait until the end of the month to get this, uh, this type of financing. Why is this important, and particularly in our region, right? Well, probably most people around this call has a credit card, right? Uh, but once we go to um, the 85% of the Colombian population that earn up to two minimum wages, which is very similar in our neighboring countries as well. You know, these people, uh, they don't have access to, uh, you know, instruments such as credit cards or overdrafts. Right? Uh, they don't have because their earnings don't allow it, their credit profile don't allow it. Uh, but, you know, these are people that, you know, traditionally have low wages, uh, just like us have emergencies, have uh, expenses that they were not accounting for uh, and uh, what they end up doing is very very often uh, going into loan charts uh, to get some quick financing uh, to be able to solve their short-term problems right? this is a major problem in the region because well loan charts obviously it's the most expensive financial produ uh, product that these people can ac access. It's actually illegal uh, in most uh, in most uh, uh, um, countries in our region, uh, and there is an underlying social problem uh, in um, uh, around this uh, around this loan chart problem. It, it's it's um, you know it moved around one million minimum wages in Colombia last year, right? So it's it's a huge problem. Uh, and obviously, you know, all the sources that you can have to attack this problem are, uh, are important, I agree. Um, what we have done is guaranteeing that we give people like Andrea the flexibility to um, withdraw part of their wage in advance, not having to wait until the end of the month, right? For a very small fee, uh, the cheapest in the market, cheapest than, than banks, right? but basically allows people like Andrea to go into the platform and if they have, for example, something that happens often uh, with our users, if they have a medical emergency, they are able to solve that medical emergency. They will are able to have the cash to solve it uh, without going into the worst possible solution, which is called loan charts. Right? So this is what Advance does. It's, this is our main product. Um, our product exists in our parts of uh, in our, in other countries in other parts of the world, but uh, we were the first ones here in Colombia and are now uh, driving the product to other other regions. We don't do only salary advances, so basically we work with employers to get solutions to their employees. Uh, solutions as simple as 
quick uh, access to medical service to online med medical services you know via via teleconference like we're doing here this is something that has been um has been evolving quite well here it's important it solves problems or real problems of real people and basically we are partnering with people to give more services to these employees um along the way you know we allow employees for example to top up their mobile mobile phones you know something that sales forces that are in the field sometimes need their working mobile phones to work and sometimes they didn't have enough balance right so we allow simple things as this basically to solve employee problems and reduce their financial stress and uh, reduce uh, solve real problems from that right so this is a short introduction about advance this is what we do uh I'm able to go over uh, over it a bit more in detail um but obviously i'd like to talk a bit about shopel right and uh, uh, let me turn the page a bit to shopel and uh, our partners you know from korea what do they do well uh, it's it's it raised a lot our interest when we learned the reality of field sales teams in Colombia. What are field sales teams? Well, these are um, salespeople that are in a shopping mall or sometimes in the street uh, with technology. You know, maybe mobile phones, maybe tablets. Uh, you know, other things that they are actually selling. Right. So this is a push sales force that are in the fields. Very common in our region. Right. Um, the problem with the organization of these uh, uh, field sales forces is that the work tended to be quite manual, right? What do I mean by quite manual? Well, you have um, product specs tend to be a document, a physical document that people uh, get into the street. Um, the, the tracking of the inventories also tended to be quite manual. So it's, it's, it's actually very difficult and it tends to, to lead to product loss, right? Uh, along the supply chain. Um, also, managing uh, the schedules of the different people who are distributing it along different sales points tend to be very difficult, right? So uh, all these processes, which are very manual in many, many companies uh, locally in our region, uh, what Shopple did, what Shopple tool allowed was to guarantee that you automate everything, right? So suddenly you have an integrated tool that allows the employee, uh, so, so basically the salesperson that is in the street or is in a shopping mall or whatever, to use sometimes their phone or use their tablet, uh, tablet to um, you know, access all the product specs, to understand what products are available and not available in inventory uh, on an automatic way, right? Allows um, people in, in, in the centralized logistic forces to uh, also track products, uh, track um, um, fields, um, track the timing where people are supposed to be and actually have some kind of proof that they are there, right? With, with uh, you know, just enabling G GPS location for the workers. So all these allowed processes which were, were and still are in many companies, very, very manual, right? Leading to uh, loss in productivity and sometimes loss in inventory, but also many difficulties from the employees, uh, the salespeople that are in the field, and requiring a lot of contact, right? Which, you know, during this post COVID time <laughs> era, it's something that we want to avoid, right? So, what this tool allowed is to automate everything, allow less contact, less lost time, much more productive time, and a much better track of inventory and better information for everyone. Right. So this is this has been. We were quite impressed when we were learning about each other, and obviously quite impressed on the potential impact that uh, that this can have in uh, in Colombia. Now, the key question is uh, obviously I, I talked to you about Shopple and I talked about Advance. And there doesn't seem to be a relation between us, and and that's actually that, that's actually mostly true, um, with with some exceptions that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna highlight. So we are not competing products in any way. Right? Um, on the other hand, we are actually devoting or actually targeting the same companies through the same model. Right? We we want to work. With him, we want to serve employees uh, through the companies in an integrated way with companies, both advanced 
on its labor benefit models uh, and, and, and services and shuffle on the productivity tools that it has, right? So what we discovered very quickly is even though we don't have a, a, an obvious product overlap, the users are the same, right? And so we can think about how can we leverage some learnings and even some tools to have impact on those final users. In most, um, most uh, above all, you know, try to leverage commercial synergies to basically get into the companies that uh, will be able to, will be working with both Shopple and Advance, right? So this was the base, uh, you know, the first step for the, um, uh, for the partnership as understanding that, well, Advance is actually here locally, understand how, uh, we understand how local companies work, what are their local needs. At the same time, um, we have a local sales force, you know, that speak Spanish, that are meeting clients every day. Uh, and um, we probably have a very marginal increased effort on presenting not only advanced tools, but also Shopple tools, right? This is what we started doing. And obviously we started to leverage and to uh, um, enjoy uh, all, the, all our local um, infrastructure to get not one, but two, um, uh, two companies uh, accessing a local market and accessing local companies, right? So that, that, that was the base, uh, the first step for the partnership. The second thing that's, uh, you know, the second driver that we found very interesting is that we are both um, startups, probably at the similar development stage uh, that have um, similar challenges, similar things that we're going after. Uh, and and the, um, you know, the, the potential for sharing knowledge, for sharing ideas, uh, for sharing, sharing challenges as well was enormous, right? So what we do <clears throat> on our, um, uh, you know, on, on our regular meetings, it's basically explaining each other where we are, you know, that goes from technology to team to many, many levers, right? Um, and that allowed us to uh, basically, you know, literally share ideas, uh, looking at some of the global technologies that uh, one company is using and actually can be used by both companies. And that's, that's basically learnings that are, are fantastic to have, right? Because you don't, you don't go through the same hurdles um, uh, twice, you basically have your partner to tell you uh, what mistakes not to do. And that, that has been very important and very re enriching for us. Um, the third driver, which I think is very, very important, core to the, the program that we are uh, doing with born to global uh, is obviously uh, you know, increasing the potential for us to have economic and social impact in our regions. Right? And uh, both tools, obviously, you know, I only talked about the commercial elements of this, but both tools actually have um, a, a very strong economic and social um, levers or, or impact levers that we're going after, right? Obviously, from our side in advance, we want to bring um, financial freedom. We want to give better tools, cheaper tools, legal tools, uh, you know, avoiding, uh, avoiding load charts to um, low paid employees, right? So that, that's, our, uh, that's our major contribution in terms, of, uh, in, in terms of social impact. And obviously Shopple is also, you know, devoting and trying to modernize some of the um, uh, less sophisticated supply chains that don't have by their own the, um, you know, the sophistication to go and build and think about tools like Shopple. But uh, using Shopple allows them to automate all the, the supply chain. And that means that um, smaller companies that did not have the size to think about these, um, uh, uh, these infrastructures will be able to leverage it. Uh, it means that these smaller companies are able to bring employees and hire employees into more remote regions where without any proper tracking, it, would, it wouldn't be possible or it wouldn't be feasible to actually have these people working, right? So I, I think these are the, these are kind of like the, the levers that we are exploring. We actually uh, developed one thing that's very important uh, for us. We developed since the program started financial education tools for the employees, you know, for employees of, of both tools. That is core to what we do because we basically want to, um, uh, you know, uh, 
by using our tools, we want employees to uh, improve their well-being. And you know, financial education is actually one of the biggest gaps uh, in the region. So this is now active. Users are using it. Uh, we we problem solved a, a, a lot uh, about this, and it's it's a reality. It's a reality that went live quite um, you know quite fast in a few months, right? Um, I won't go. I, I think I'm I'm starting to go a bit over my time. So I just uh, would like to finalize by by saying that uh, obviously uh, Shopple and Advance, uh, you know, have been doing the work. We are building both companies and we are bringing solutions to the local market. But the partnership uh, didn't happen uh, uh, by miracle, right? It happened because there are uh, institutions behind us that actually have been supporting us uh, uh, along the way. Born to Global uh, is, is definitely you know, the driver of all of this uh, and, and has been quite critical on enabling this problem, enabling the connection between the two companies. So, you know, obviously we are both uh, very thankful to you, uh, but also more locally, right? Um, institutions like ProColombia, it's an invest, uh, um, external investment uh, um, institution, and um, uh, Bid Lab, so it's the uh, Inter-American Development Bank that has been actually supporting us, uh, and Central, which is an accelerator, accelerator connected to um, Google for Startups. So these are the institutions that have been helping us and enabling a partnership between Advance and Shopel that is now a reality, right? Um, I think this is it. Uh, this is what I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm again very thankful for for the invitation, and uh, hope that that has been a nice contribution as an example for what can be done between uh, Korean companies and other companies in our in our region.